Dear Albert, I'm writing you this letter. To me, you are the most. I'm not really very good at expressing myself, and I don't know how to say it, but... I only know I love you. I'll never forget the first time I heard you. Ever since then, you have been the living end. When your first record came out, I didn't know what to do. I almost lost my mind. I started a fan club for you. I played your records all the time. And Elvis, I knew so well. Elvis, you are the greatest thing that ever happened to me. You mean so much to me. You're more than life to me. Since you came along, there are many men who try to copy you. Oh, yeah. I'm the great pretender. And of course, there are some people who criticize you, like my mother and daddy. Um, people say a man is made out of mud. But they forget. Oh. But for me, Elvis, there is only you. To me, you are the dreamiest. When I hear you sing, you've got the magic touch. Elvis, let me tell you something about me. Every night, when the twilight is gone, my prayer, sweet Elvis, is someday we might meet. I'm hoping you'll come down, come down from your eyes. I know, Elvis, my chances of ever talking with you aren't very good. I know it would be impossible to ever get a date with you, because... I know you long to But you can't blame me, Elvis, for wanting to spend time with you. Every night I dream that we walk... From the candy store on the corner To the chapel on the hill. I can just see us there. You and I in the sunshine. Oh, Elvis, won't you please give us this day? I love you, Elvis, very much. And now, good night and goodbye, my Elvis. Love, Audrey. P.S. P.S. As I close my eyes, I can hear you singing now. I come back, baby. Hold it, fellas. And don't move. Let's get real, real gone for a change. Well, the one kiss from her baby, darling,